Years ago, the world's finest porcelain was made in Asia, Europe, and England, but now it's manufactured in America, and indeed right here in Trenton. The Beam Studio was started 40 years ago by Edward Beam, with the help of wife Helen, and without the aid of an art education for Mr. Beam. Today, Beam porcelain is sold to some of the same countries that used to dominate the industry. In uh, Japan, in the Philippines, and now in Malaysia, Indonesia, Hong Kong. Beam is sold throughout the world and shown in its finest museums. When you are in 130 museums like the Metropolitan Museum in New York, the Vatican Museum, the Elysee Palace, uh, the uh, Hermitage in Russia, uh, the Smithsonian, on and on all over the world, that is the endorsement of this beautiful, beautiful quality. The Trenton Company has presented works to names such as Mao, Gorbachev, and Sadat, plus Pavarotti, Stallone, Schwarzkopf, and more. Queen Elizabeth, Prince Charles, Princess Diana, Cher, Frank Sinatra, on and on. There's so many movie stars that collect Beam, Robbie Goulet. There's so many very serious collectors. But the holiest recipient has been the Pope, who has this Madonna piece. And then he said in Italian, do I have to give this back to the museum? And then the director says, no, your holiness, you take it if you wish. He says, good, I'll put it in my apartment. Last year, the Beam family received an unprecedented honor from the Vatican. They named a museum in the Vatican the first time in 500 years in the name of Mr. Beam. And my name was there too, but could you imagine? Most of the museums in the Vatican are named after royalty and popes. And Beam has been contracted to create Michelangelo's works of the Sistine Chapel for the Vatican. Now, Beam employs about 125 staffers who carry out the 52-step creation process. Michelangelo da Vinci kind of clay is very soft and pliable. Now, most of this is in the mold division because we've taken off the beautiful tail feathers on it. They're being molded at the present time. But this is how a piece is first started on an armature and then they keep adding to it. You must make three generations of mold. Very, very intricate. It's an intricate process that from start to finish actually takes weeks to complete. We can only use these 25 times and then we have to make new reproduction molds. Beam prides itself on employing those who can carry out the delicate process again and again, attaching each part separately, making sure each part, each detail is in place. The works are then fired up in the kiln, making them hard enough to apply those finishing touches. Talented hands then apply those touches, such as primping and painting, and then finally the work is done. Recently, Beam created two works to be presented at the Jackson family's reunion concert, originally scheduled for December and now postponed. The pieces are for Elizabeth Taylor and Motown founder Barry Gordy and are slated to be presented by Michael Jackson. So it's a very significant, a significant trophy, honor, award, whatever you want to call it. It's not just a piece of glass or metal. This you can't wave around. I thank my sister and brother. This is an artistic piece which were presented to them by Michael Jackson. Currently, Beam is creating a life-size peacock for yet another distinguished recipient. This is our present project that will be, that's being made for the Sultana Brunei. While Beam's work is rewarding artistically and financially, it has meaning beyond that to Helen Beam. We're involved in many peace programs, like the Birds of Peace that went to China, the, uh, the uh, Global Peace that went to Gorbachev, this to Co Korea. So we're always involved. It seems as though porcelain, peace, and people seem to go together with the Beam Studio. Outside of porcelain, Helen Beam does have another key interest. You see, I have a polo team, and I have won the World Cup three times. Then I took my team to England and beat Prince Charles's team 11-5, and the, Her Majesty presented me with the most coveted cup in the world. So once in a while, we have to kind of smell the roses and do something differently. Helen Beam and Beam Porcelain, doing it differently, world class, right here in Trenton. Joey Waller, WZBN News.